All right, so this is the first stop of the day, and so far, not too bad. I picked up that uh, Seiko wooden clock, and remember, at the end of the video, I always go over all the comps, so how much things are worth, and I do a breakdown at the end of the video on my hourly rate. Now, anytime I see anything in a box with a barcode, I usually do go ahead and scan the barcode. And the app that I'm using to scan is going to be just a regular eBay app. And then I go over to the soul comps and see what they sell for. This item right here is super surprising when I scanned it and it will be bought. And again, at the end of the video, I'll go over exactly how much that's worth, but it's very surprising. So I've been doing this a lot is standing back and taking a better look at like the surroundings because a lot of times I actually do miss a ton and when I go back and watch these videos I always think about how I miss it so you do see me take a lot of like big steps back and try to look at everything on the shelf. All right, so I make my way over to the plush bin. I'll tell you what, I am new to plushes, but I can see why people like them. They're easy to list, easy to ship, and actually they are worth some good amount of money. Now, again, I'm just learning, so I'm sure I missed a whole bunch in these uh, bins that I'm going through. If you see something that stands out to you, please write it down below so I can learn a little bit better. But if you haven't uh, watched my other video, basically I can fill up a whole good wheel bag for $3.99 and as you can tell here there's a whole bunch of like Pokemon stuff there's a whole bunch of uh, Build-A-Bear stuff there's just a whole bunch of stuff that I end up grabbing and I go over all this at the end of the video I always go through the jeans. That's one of my last stops is going through the jeans. And these right here are L.L. Bean. And the thing that makes them special, actually, there's one right there that's L.L. Bean. And these are also L.L. Bean. And I buy these because they do have that flannel lining. And I'll give you the comp at the end. But I always pick those up if they're under $5. All right, now in this Goodwill, I'm actually in a little bit of a hurry, so uh, I don't comp out a lot of things. I don't even comp this thing out. That's actually a 35 millimeter projector, and I just now comped it out while I'm watching the video, and it doesn't go for that much money. But in a little bit here, you're going to see me ask about an item, and the employee will not sell it to me.
doesn't have a price on it. All right, now this is not a weird occurrence. There's a lot of things without prices in the Goodwill, and the policy is they have to take it in the back and then price it and then bring it back out. And I end up finding these really nice uh, cutting blocks. I only pick them up if they're Cutco, and they these weren't, so I left them behind. But what's about ready to happen has actually never happened in this Goodwill before. They put it out by mistake. Was it supposed to be out? Oh, okay. All right, we are back at the house and I picked up all this stuff right here for $42 and there's some really good things in there. There's one thing in here that will actually cover all of this and then the rest will be profit. So let's start over here. We'll go over the plushes here in a second because there's so many of them. But first, catchphrase, Scrabble. This is actually not new or if it is, it kind of fell off the thing. This will be uh, sold as pre-owned and they usually go for about 10 to 15 bucks plus shipping. It helps that it has the box for sure. And then this Seiko quartz wall clock got it for three dollars and it uh i didn't put a battery in it yet but i'm thinking it's gonna work it has no corrosion or anything and there's some sole comps around 20 bucks plus shipping as high as 50 dollars free shipping it's not very heavy so it's probably going to go out of th like three pounds or something so the shipping won't be too much money so i'm going to say on the low end 20 bucks but maybe like up to 35 plus shipping on that and then this was a pretty good score I got it for six dollars and the thing that drew my eye to this is that the box was like super cool looking so i was like what is this and i'm actually still not 100 percent sure i think it's a straightener or something for hair putting waves in hair ceramic and this was definitely worth it i scanned it it scans like brand new for about 90 dollars plus shipping uh pre-owned probably 50 bucks but all these are new so this is going to be like an open package type you know just damage to the box so i can probably get 50 50 60 bucks uh plus shipping on that so that's good I picked up three vintage hats again. That one is from the town of Matthews, North Carolina. I really just kind of like the patch, to be honest with you. I like picking up old vintage patches, so that's pretty cool. This one just says Legends Cars on it. It's pretty neat. And then this one is a old Car Quest auto parts hat. And if you know, if you've been watching the channel a long time, you know I love picking up hats. It's only 99 cents at my goodwill, and I pick up a ton of them. Now let's go over to the plushes. So if you watch my one video stating that if you fill up one of these bags, uh, everything is like $3.99 for the plush. And as you can tell, I got a whole bunch of little ones. So I didn't spend hardly any money on any of these. And it, we're gonna go over them quick. This one right here is the most dingiest. He's got, old oh, Pikachu's got a very angry face on him. But I went through these and a lot of these do go for about like five to 10 bucks. Some of these Five Nights of Freddy's, and again, I'm learning this stuff as I go. I don't know anything about plushes, to be honest with you. But some of these bad boys can be upwards of hundreds and hundreds of dollars if you get the right ones. Now, mine don't have the tags on them. Like the original tag, it still has that tag, but not like the one that came to it. So they'll be like sold as a lot. This one's a little Sega guy. I got some Build-A-Bear. The reason why I picked this Build-A-Bear up is that it is a happy birthday but it does have a hello kitty dress on it so and a lot of people in my last video was like hey pick up hello kitty stuff so there you go i picked up a build-a-bear with a hello kitty dress should go for some some money some of the comps that i have on these are pretty good i think this one actually comped out pretty good at about 10 to 15 dollars that is a build-a-bear star wars bear uh, another pokemon thing I uh, got a Mario. He's missing the tag altogether, but he this is where he was the raccoon in uh, Mario. So that's pretty cool. Got a, uh, what is this guy's name? If you know, tell me down below. He still has, does have the tag on it, but he did comp out very well. And the way I comp it out, like say I take a Google lens and I'll take a picture of this one because eBay has gotten rid of their camera, or at least on my app they have. So I can't take pictures with um, with eBay anymore. So I take a picture with Google Lens and then I'll remember the name or I can just visit like the, the website and this one pops up. This is a Star Wars Build-A-Bear. So like these two probably lot together because they're both Star Wars, they're both Build-A-Bear. Then I did get a Spider-Man and I'm pretty sure like Spider-Man just came out, right? Like the movies, I don't really watch too many movies, but so that one right there, that one again is a Build-A-Bear. So Build-A-Bear Spider-Man, another Pokemon one. This one's cool and probably keep if you've been watching the channel, you know I'm a big fan of uh, Jurassic Park and Jurassic World and he is legit. He is a legit Jurassic World. Uh, dinosaur they call him blue but blue was a raptor and this is a Tyrannosaurus rex so i don't know but he's worth like 20 bucks but he's probably going to be kept 
And then a Batman uh, Lego, still got the tag on him. And he, I think, goes for about 10 to 15 bucks. So what I'm gonna do is average out on the breakdown at the end of the video, eight bucks on each one. I think that's gonna be shooting in a little bit low, but realistically, that's just say $8. And there's 24 of them. You even got that guy right there. I don't know who he is, but pretty cool. Then moving on, I got this Fez hat from like the uh, Shriners. I just picked it up because it was super cool looking. And they do have some soul comps. This one's like in brand new condition. And uh, I don't know, I got it for three bucks. And I think they go for about 15 to 20 plus shipping. And then this thing right here is pretty neat. This is a keypad, like an electric keypad. And I always pick up these if I can't, you know, when I comp them out in the store. This one, obviously, there's something going on with it because it is glowing and it's red and white. So I have to actually YouTube how to reset this thing. Everything comes with it. Paid six bucks for this and the base and this item. And this item right here is a Bode. And that's what this brand is. And there is a lot sold on eBay and not a lot listed. So I'm gonna go ahead and just research it, make sure I list it correctly. But this one item has sold for $17.99 plus shipping in brand new condition, condition, and this one is brand new. So that's good. The base, this goes for about 42, and I can't find the keypad yet. But um, if I can't get this thing to work, you know, I might be able to sell it for parts or something. But I definitely have to YouTube it to figure out what exactly it's doing right now because all it's flashing all white and red, which is usually never a good sign. But it was a bundle deal for six dollars, so right there, this will be double the money. That's pure profit. That ain't bad. Then. LL Bean. Uh, I usually pick up their jeans only if they have the lining in it. So these are double lined and that's what they're called. They're called LL Bean Double L. Now you will see a whole bunch of like low comps on these eight to fifteen dollars. If you hold out, they usually will sell between 18 to 25 bucks plus shipping. I've always sold them at that much. People will always offer $10, $12 for them plus shipping. I usually hold out on these because I know that they'll sell for 18 to 25 bucks. So these will be listed $25. I'll probably take a best off around 20 on those. So that's really not too bad. So right there, that's everything I bought today to be a full-time eBay reseller. And this is what I do for a living. I go places and then flip things online for a profit or try to make a profit at least. On the first Goodwill you saw, they individual I asked the employee I said hey can you go ahead and price this for me because without a price they won't sell it to you and I didn't expect them not to actually sell it at all to me they said it was a mistake it was out there which means that most likely it will be sent off to be auctioned on goodwill.com or wherever they do their auction at so that will no longer be in the thrift store and what it was was a Sony like camcorder not Sony it was an RCA camcorder the Sony ones are called handy cams they usually go over a hundred dollars the RCA one's probably 50 maybe a hundred dollars I didn't even run the model because it didn't have a price on it but that just proves the other day I said that in my game cube pickup when I was like hey if they found this out they would probably never sell this to me for $2.99 and that just proves right there that they probably wouldn't have so that's why I bought the thing fast and put it in my car super fast so I do appreciate everybody that watches definitely picked up a whole bunch of plushes I don't know much about plushes if you saw something I missed in the bin that I was looking through definitely tell me down below uh, you guys have given me so much valuable information down in the comments so any more valuable information Go ahead and tell me down below and I much appreciate it and you know I will always get you on the next one.